Dear students, now let us start with your play, The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. So something about the writer first. All of you must be familiar with this name, the name of William Shakespeare. Uh, he may be called the greatest playwright ever. And he was an English playwright and he was born in uh, 1564 and he died in 1616. And he was, uh, he belonged to this place, Stratford upon Avon, in United Kingdom. He has written uh, almost 37 plays, and he has also written a big number of sonnets, almost uh, 130 sonnets he has written. And uh, his Greatness may be gauged from the fact that uh, most of the scholars, uh, uh, in fact the biggest uh, number of scholars have done research on his works. So his works may be called universal. Universal means they, they were loved, his plays were loved in his time. And his plays are loved even now. They have a universal appeal. Another thing he is known for is his strong characters. Uh, his characterization is great. He has uh, created some very memorable characters. And uh, now let us start with the play now. The Merchant of Venice. Now what is the meaning of merchant? Merchant means... A businessman, Vapari. So this is as you may gather from the uh, title only. It is about the play. The main character is the merchant of Venice. Now where is Venice? Venice is in Italy. So let us have a look at Venice. So Venice is a city in Italy. And it is made of more than 100 small islands. Chote chote saw dvipa da banya hai. Or to see every movies to dekhya hona hai. There are uh, many canals. Nara hai gya. And so Venice the which there are no roads. Just canals. Nara hai gya jadiyan ke jod diya hai. Pure shair no. Or lok. Una de vici, they uh, travel uh, by gondolas and there are just canals. So, Sarka de Vijay Luki Kitajan de canals, they through they travel. Ik jagato duji jagate, Nara chilake jam de gondolas no. So, this is something about Venice, and an interesting thing is that. Shakespeare had never been to Italy. So, because as you may uh, imagine that in those days the means of transport. How many old things are there? 1564. You may uh, just try to uh, imagine that in those days there were no means of transport. And this person Shakespeare had never been to Italy, but he has written such a delightful, such a convincing play named uh, The Merchant of Venice. So it just uh, speaks about, it just tells about his greatness as a playwright. So the Merchant of Venice and uh, written by William Shakespeare. Now let us uh, know something about the main characters. So the main characters of this play are Antonio, Bassanio, Portia and Shylock. So these are the four main characters. So something about uh, the story. So in this play, uh, the main character is of course Antonio. 
after whom the play is named his name is antonio and uh, he is a great friend of bassanio so there are two friends they are young people and antonio and bassanio now antonio is a rich merchant but his friend bassanio though he belongs to a noble family is no longer wealthy he is a poor man and but now he wants to get married to portia now portia is a very rich heiress heiress means her father was a very rich and after his death all his wealth has come to her now she has inherited a great deal of wealth from her father and she is very beautiful and she is very rich and she lives at belmont so there are two main places in this play one is of course venice and the other is belmont where portia lives so bassanio wants to go to uh, belmont where portia lives and he wants to woo portia he wants to get married to portia but for that he wants some money because he wants to create uh, a good impression on portia as well as uh, the people who uh, surround portia so that is why he wants to uh, create a good impression on them and he wants to go there in style and for that he needs uh, he requires money and uh, he wants 3000 ducats and naturally he asks his friend antonio who is very rich and uh, from antonio he has previously also borrowed much money okay, so he has borrowed a lot of money from uh, antonio antonio previously also and he has also borrowed money from some other people but now he wants to give that money back to uh, all the people from whom he has taken loans and his plan is to get married to portia who is very rich and he uh, she is very beautiful also and she is very intelligent also so he wants to get married to her so that uh, he may be so after his marriage he may be able to give all the money back to the people from whom he had taken loans so i hope uh, till uh, this point the story is clear to you and now uh, he asks antonio to give him a loan of 3000 ducats so this is this may be the last loan that he is asking from antonio so he asks money but right now though antonio is a very rich person but right now he does not have money because all his money is invested in his business jis tarah ke business wale ko ke very ready money nahi hunda kyunki unna da sara paisa kithe lagga hunda hai it is there invested in their business so now antonio does not have money but he asks bassanio to uh go to other people to go to other money lenders and ask for some loans and antonio uh, and antonio tells him to uh, take his name and ask for money yeah, because they are very good friends now what happens now bassanio goes to shylock so shylock is a jew and antonio 